Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here. Welcome back with some more Pokemon Diamond last time. We finally almost made it to Snow Point City, but then I was like, nah, screw it. And then I just came here and I did the gym all by myself. And um, it'll take a long time for me to do it because this puzzle is like evil. But anyways, here we have the gym leader, Candace. Okay. So she's gonna send out Snow versus her first Pokemon. Level 38. We're quite. I think we're underleveled for this fight, so. Yeah, so a uh, fire type Pokemon would be perfect for this gym. So if you cho chosen Fernape, you're gonna have an easy time, because. All they, you're fire and fighting, you they stand no chance. So we're gonna open up with a Toxic here. Uh, since it's also part grass, it, the poison type does damage, so... An ice type move, I'm not sure what it'll do. Oh, it knows in grain, so... Yeah, it's gonna be quite annoying to deal with, but... Yeah, also the hail as well, so you're gonna have to deal with hail, you're gonna have to deal with multiple ice types. So I'm just gonna open up with a uh, acid right here now. So you can see how much damage that does. Oh, it does a lot. So thinking next turn will probably finish it. Oh, clear body. Oh, actually, I never knew I had clear body, to be honest with you. And that was actually pretty good that I have it. It's gonna heal, and then it's gonna be... And then it's gonna get hit by the poison. I think next turn it might kill it, depending if he tries using, like, another move. Okay, so Acid. Yeah, I think it's going to finish it off this turn. Because there's no way it's going to heal after this. Razor Leaf, it's going to do regular damage. Thank God we have so a high defense, so... Yeah, I think we're going to finish it off this turn, the fight. Because the Battly Poison is going to pretty much destroy Snover right here. Unless, like, the ingrains just too powerful. Yeah, it's not gonna last. Yep. So, we took down the first Pokemon. A little strategic here. Instead of going straight forward like I usually do. So, Sidia did this all by herself. Abominus Snow. Oh, crud. So, here we have Abominus Snow. Abominus Snow. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, to be honest. Pretty sure it's at least level 40, this guy, because he's going to pack a huge punch. So that's what I'm recommending. If you have a Fire-type Pokemon, go after it now, because this guy... But when I was younger, I was, like, hating the living crap out of this Pokemon because of how many times it beat me. So we're going to open up with a Force Pump, see how much that does, because I know that it isn't fast. Woodhammer. That's a Grass-type. Move, and it's going to do recoil, da recoil damage. I don't know how to pronounce that either. So, yeah, it's going to hit with the re Oh, no, it has a citrus berry on it. So I'm hoping it's going to use wood hammer again or something. Oh, crud. Yeah, let's use force palm. If not, we'll just go for a city again. Oh, we paralyzed it. This could do something. Oh, we're gonna finish it off next turn then. If it is, unless they go like you know, full restore on us. I'm not even sure if this gym leader has a full restore, but it doesn't really need one at this point. It's not like to the point where it's about to faint. Like one shot from any move, kind of faint. So, anyways. There goes Abana Snow, and we defeat with a little 33 Lucario. Yeah, kind of shocking right there, if I do say so myself. So, I still have a God Splatoon. Yeah, I was supposed to get it. Okay, we have a Metacham. Psychic and Fighting type Pokemon, so... I'd send out Sky right now, because this is going to be quite a fight. Because I'm not even sure how this is even an Ice for an Ice type gym. So anyway, I think it's going to probably have Ice Punch, but anyways. Yeah, I still didn't get Splatoon yet, because on the day I was supposed to get it, my dad was in a rush, so he was like, no target or anything, and I didn't even get my Amiibos either. Then on that, then the next day, he bought it from Target, 
But he was like, nope, and because it costs a little too much money because of the taxes. So we got it from eBay for a much cheaper price. Whoa, one shot! Me oh my god, Metacham fainted! One shot, and Skya is gonna gain experience from that. So yeah, I... I, my dad bought it back and he got one off of eBay. It's gonna come in tomorrow on Friday. I wanted it to come today because I thought I was gonna, you know, travel all the way here, but, you know. I don't really know much about how things travel throughout the, uh, you know, systems of mailing or whatnot. Anyways, let's go for, let's stick with Sky right here. Sneasel is our final Pokemon. The level 38, this is probably your weakest Pokemon, unless Snover is. So this is her la quote unquote last resort Pokemon, so it's Dark and Ice, which, yeah, not a good mix for someone like Skya here, so I'm going to send out Sidia. Dark and Ice, so, wait, why did I say Dark and Psychic? Did I just say Dark and Psychic? I don't even know. Avalanche, oh... You know, I've never actually seen any Pokemon nowadays use Avalanche, like... All the times I've been seeing, like, Pokemon moves, like... Even in X and Y, I haven't seen any, uh... You know, Pokemon using Avalanche. Oh, uh, let's open up with a Toxic. Actually, I think it's gonna be a little faster than us. Oh, it's not faster than us! Okay, so Toxic is gonna be there. So Lucario's probably gonna finish it off, if anything. Because it is gonna have times... Six damage, I think. So, sorry, Asidia, you're not going to get any experience off of this fight. So, we're going to have to finish it off with, uh, Ryu here. So, yeah. This is going to be quite an easy finish. It actually, we kind of, uh, almost swept this entire fight. She only took out one of our Pokemon, unless she just takes out Ryu here with a quick attack or something. I don't know. Actually, quick attack won't even do much. Slash, that won't even do much either. Yeah, we're pretty much going to win it right here. Force Palm. If we had Ore Sphere, this would have been a lot better as well. Force Palm and one-shotted with Force Palm. So yeah, we're going to gain experience off of that. Not that much experience either, especially e even though Ryu is like lower than it by five levels. Skya, grow, grow up a level. So we defeated Leader Candace. This was quite an easy fight. Wow, you're great. You've earned my respect. I think your focus and will bold us totally over... I don't know. Yeah, so let's just skip the text. And we got the Icicle Badge from Candice. The Icicle Badge I gave you? Because you have it, you can use the Hidden Move Rock Climb anytime. Even when you're not in battle. Oh, and take this. This will take Avalanche, yes. Oh, wait, what? Something is doubled. Okay, if you do something, it's doubled. So, let's see what it does. We have... Avalanche. An attack that inflicts double the damage if the user has been hurt. Oh, it's kind of like Payback, except for the Ice types. I understand how an Avalanche, which is one of the da most dangerous natural disasters, does so, like, not that much damage compared to, like, Sheer Cold, which insta-kills. So, I guess we could put Avalanche on one of our Pokemon. And only Frosty can learn it. Uh, why not? We'll get rid of Bubble Beam for Avalanche. Yeah, it does 65, but it does double the damage, so it could do 120. So, yeah, let's get rid of Bubble Beam. And plus, Frosty has good defense, especially if it's a Steel type, it, since it's part Steel type. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Uh, Focus Plus, I'm saving that for later. Thunder, I'm also saving that for later. Actually, I don't think I could use Thunder until I get, like, Rain Dance, because Rain Dance is a move I want to teach to Raichu when it evolves. Because once Pikachu evolves into Raichu, you're going to have a huge move pool opened up. Even though I'm not competitive at Pokemon, I do know a thing or two. But I don't know, like, everything. I just don't care about competitive Pokemon. Oh, something on my screen hair. Like, an eyelash hair. Yeah, like, peak, like when Pikachu evolves to Raichu, you have such an amazing move pool for Raichu. He could do Dark, uh, Grass, 
to get rid of the ground and rock weakness, so he could easily get damage off of that. Plus, he's a lot faster. Uh, then, like, I hear some Pikachu fans, like, they say, Oh, Pikachu has the light ball! He's much stronger than Raichu after that. Well, not really. He's only a doubled in attack. Or special attack. I'm not sure. It's one of those two, which he gets above Raichu. But remember, Raichu's still faster and still has a little bit more... Than uh, Pikachu. So I would prefer Raichu if you're going for a more offensive kind of way and not like more, more of a move pull, then go for Pikachu if you want. I personally prefer Raichu. So yeah, finally we're done with Candace. Oh, this is finally open to us. Like a cutie. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. There's nothing here anyway. If anything were to happen, it's in good, it's in my good hands. I've got my trusty Pokemon with me, for one. And more than anything, I'm tough and you know it. Yeah, you are. So, yeah, I think it's best to go back to our hometown. But we're gonna do that in the next episode. You know what would be funny? If I ended off the episode and I find a shiny Pokemon, that would make my day one day. So yeah, uh, we'll probably do a review on Splatoon as well when it comes out. Probably like unbox it and whatnot and do like a little review video like I usually do when, with like a game that I really want to review. Because so far when I played the demo, I'm, I would say like a 9.5 out of 10. Like uh, sometimes like the controller, the controls, like the... Motion controls, aka the gyro controls, I think they're called, are like kind of weird at points, so you have to like always reset the camera the way you don't like it. So, yeah, so I'm gonna come up with a video like that as well. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably record a few Smash Wii U replays. I'm probably not gonna upload as much as I usually did with Smash Wii U because Splatoon's gonna be out soon. So yeah, Splatoon's probably going to get in the way of, uh, oh, sorry, allergies there. I was, like, about to sneeze. Anyways, we're, as I was saying, that Splatoon is probably going to take over Smash, but Smash kind of going to get in there as long as Mario Kart. Uh, another thing I would like to say is that Soon I am going to start changing up the profile a little bit, because our LP is about to come to an end. We just gotta capture the legendary Pokemon like we did back in Crystal. And we also gotta finish up the 8th and the the 8th Gym and the Elite Four as well. Uh, let's go to Sandrum Town, because we need a PC. Uh... So yeah, we're going to be seeing a little less of Mario Kart 8 and uh, Mar Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. We're going to be seeing a lot more Splatoon. Heck, I'll even do series on Splatoon as well. Maybe like ranked battles or something. Awkward. Like ranked battles and whatnot. Yeah, it'll be kind of cool. So you guys can enjoy that. And we'll finish up our Pokemon Diamond Let's Play so we can start our new Let's Play as well. So it's you're mostly going to be seeing Pokemon Diamond, Splatoon... And then the new Let's Play, once I'm done with Diamond, and then you'll see a little Smash and Mario Kart 8 here and there, and maybe a little collab thing. As well. So, yeah, that's about it. And, so anyways, love my videos, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you all for watching this episode of Pokemon Diamond. Next time, we're going to check out the lakes. And see what's going on as well, because so far our rival has everything under control in his lake, and we already finished up what happened in ours. So, we're gonna go check out right before the video ends, so yeah. Uh, actually, maybe not, because I don't want anybody interrupting my recording at, right now. So yeah, we will see you all next time in the lakes. Oh, taking over, bye.